So God creates us inherently curious, puts us in the Garden of Eden, and we're curious there, punishes us forever, then sends, us, uh, sends himself to be a sacrifice to himself and doesn't stay dead, and then goes to heaven for eternity to be acknowledged as a deity. What? All of this aside, God knew this was coming. Jesus wasn't just created suddenly for this purpose. God refers to himself in the plural all the way back to Genesis with a classic quote, at least I like it, um, let us make man in our image. So not only did God know what was going to happen with the first two people, but he already said, okay, so if we create people, the Jesus part of us is going to have to go down there and be killed. Are we cool with that? And they were all cool with that. There, this wasn't something decided on last minute, as in like, oh, well, the world went to shit. Uh, we tried flooding, we tried war, we tried kidnapping people and, you know, putting them into our tribe, but that didn't work. Let's try this one last thing. Jesus, put your earth shoes on because we're going to send you down there and you need to be this sacrifice. This was all predetermined long ago, if you believe that God is all-knowing. So this wasn't like this this thing that God took or Jesus took upon himself as this perfect and, and last-ditch effort. This was completely something they, they, they understood, they being the, the God, the tripart God. Um, and even on top of that, if you read Luke chapter 22, verse, I think it's 24, but I'll double check and put it in the, the details section. Um, Jesus was, was very scared about all this and actually prayed, please take this cup and pass this cup from me. So basically Jesus said, I really don't want to do this. I know we agree to this and this is cool and fine and stuff, but I really don't want to do this. But then he said, your will be done, not mine, which is kind of weird if they're both God. So Jesus is talking to himself, saying that God's will be done, but not his will be done, but Jesus is also God. I'm not sure. But the fact is, Jesus tries to puss out of this. And he says, look, this is, I've been here, I did not expect, like, living and shit to actually be painful. And because remember, Jesus is 100% God and 100% human. So he's divine and he's human. It's going to hurt. And apparently he didn't pre-plan this when they decided it all way, way, way long ago, um, what, 6,000 years ago when they decided to create the earth and people. Um, so Jesus actually tried to puss out of the deal. That doesn't sound like some benevolent, fantastic deity. It just sounds like something he begrudgingly went with because, hey guys, we already kind of said something about it. Like, we let them know this was going to happen. We prophesied about it. We got to do it. So I don't want to punk out of this deal, but if I can, please, please let me punk out of this. I do not want to deal with this. So not only... Does Jesus get to inherit fantastical magic uh, paradise and not even stay dead and not have to die again to gain access into heaven? But he didn't even want to do it. This isn't the, the divine beauty of God. This is just some guy saying, this, this is going to suck. I don't want to do this. Oh, shit. This is going to suck. So, of course, he still does it. Not why, why wouldn't you do it? Um... So, I, I mean, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And the more that I try to explain it, the less sense it's going to make. So I'm just going to have to stop here.